architecturally, the compiler today is largely the same. Mm -hmm. uh, it's taken on a, a bit more complexity as Angular itself has taken on a bit more complexity. Um, we have the, I think, kind of just after that video, we have the linker, mm -hmm. um, which joined us. That was a kind of a new mode of compilation for the compiler, um, compiling libraries to publish on NPM. Um, and we have like support for what we call like local compilation now. Mm -hmm. um, this mode of generating code, which doesn't require all of the extra TypeScript information, like global knowledge of your dependencies. Um, that's kind of a more experimental thing. Um, yeah. But that's been growing. But other than that, the compiler, like the Stays. compiler pipeline has been largely the same. Maybe the template pipeline. I don't know if you want to. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. recently <laughs> wrote the uh, the template compiler, actually, the, the part that actually takes your template and generates instructions. Oh. Uh, that's been a, a work in progress for, you know, like six months, I think now. Mm -hmm. uh, tripping with 17.3 in the pipeline, unintended. No. There's so nice. much cool stuff coming out. And uh, there, is there some more videos when you are talking about the compiler or can we? Uh, um, I think I had a blog post about it at some point. Um, but I don't think I've done any videos since then, no. Oh. Well, if you <laughs> get if you get time to uh, to put together a new talk, we should we should get Dylan on here. here to talk about the template pipeline. I think he Dylan would love Hun? that. Yes. Yes. Oh, I really liked that guy. Okay, I'm putting him on my yeah because see, I'm having a list. <laughs> He's on my list, and and you know who I always love. I don't even care what she's doing, Jessica Janik. But Dylan Hun was so fun. I like him. I'm going to put him on the list. OK, to talk about the template compiler. Yes, yeah. He'd love to do that, I'm sure. Yes, please.